boys and girls. Now I know you've seen me make mince pies before, but last time I didn't use suet. So this recipe uses suet. Start by grating a couple of apples. Granny Smiths are good, or Bramley's. Something a bit sharp. Don't worry about the skin. Put the grated apple in a large bowl, together with the juice from two lemons, and mix well. This will just stop the apple going brown. Now add a chopped banana and mix. Then add a cup of sultanas, a cup of raisins, half a cup of currants, half a cup of flaked almonds, six tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm using soft light brown sugar. The grated zest from two lemons, six tablespoons of orange juice, and a cup of suet. I'm using vegetable suet. Now mix all of this together. Now it all smells very fruity, so we'll add in two teaspoons of mixed spices. Now I know what you're going to ask, and that is what's in my mixed spice. Are you ready? Pay attention. It's got cinnamon, coriander, caraway, ginger, fennel, nutmeg, cloves and turmeric. Now you know. And mix those in as well. Oh, this smells absolutely lovely. Transfer to an oven-proof dish. Cover tightly with aluminium foil. Then pop it into an oven at 110 degrees C for two hours. After a couple of hours, it'll be all moist and delicious. So give it a stir while it's hot. Just make sure that everything is coated lovely. And then leave it to cool. Once it's cooled, it'll be all lovely and thick and delicious. Now this is a good moment to add a few tablespoons of rum or brandy if that's what you're into. Anyway, I'm ready to make my pies now. So I'll roll out some short crust pastry. Now this is ready-made short crust pastry. You can make your own if you like. I've got about 500 grams here. I've rolled the pastry out to an eighth of an inch thick. And I'm going to use this 98 millimeter cookie cutter to cut out some discs. I'll pull up the excess pastry, squish the bits together, then put the pastry circles into a deep muffin tin and roll out some more pastry. Do, 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 do. Now insert mince meat into each of the pastry cases. Sweet! Now I've got another 250 grams of short crust pastry, which I'll roll out for the tops. And this time I've got a 68 millimeter cutter. Pop the lids on, and then use a fork to crimp the edges together. Looking good. Now I'm just going to decorate the top of my mince pies with some cute bell pastry shapes. You could use holly or Christmas trees or in fact nothing at all. Then I'll use a fork to botch some holes in the pastry top to allow any steam to escape. Now I'll bake these at 180 fan oven, 200 normal oven for about 25 minutes. 25 minutes later you have mince pies and mutant shapes on the top of your mince pies. Now leave them to cool for 10 minutes before getting them out of the trays. Delicious deep filled mince pies. Yes sirree Santa. I've even got a jar of mince meat left over which I could give as a gift. Or maybe not. Join me on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to this YouTube channel and visit my website tiddlysbusykitchen.com where you'll find this recipe written out for you and another recipe for mince pies which doesn't include suet. Have a great Christmas and ho 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 ho! Oh,